we have a 115H here, and I think there's something that a lot of people, um, dealers mainly, are missing with these 115Hs. When you connect them to AutoCheck, whether it's you know via a laptop, a desktop, um, whatever you're using to connect to it, it brings up the option right away to connect through Bluetooth. And I'm going to show you here, we're going to go in and we're going to connect to this through Bluetooth, and we'll show you what happens when you do that. Give this a second here to connect. All right, here we go. It's bringing up all our information. It's collecting the mower's information and um, the software and, and all that stuff. And you'll see here pretty quick what I'm talking about once it gathers up all the information. All right, so what we have here is the the auto check program is telling us that we should transfer the time from the computer to the mower because there's a, a discrepancy there. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And then it's telling us that there's some new documents. Um, that's just one for the uh, the boundary wire. Doesn't pertain to anything we're doing here now. So we'll just dismiss that. But here's what happens when you connect to a 115H only through Bluetooth. You see at the top there, that firmware arrow is blackened out. And you see where it, it says the firmware here um, and the information about the mower. There's no firmware listed. Now, that's not a mistake. That's just how this works when you connect through Bluetooth. If you go up here and you try to click on the firmware arrow because it's blackened out it will not let you do anything you can go in here and all the ones that are white you can manually test everything and you can go back to home you can add a customer or whatever but it won't let you do anything to the firmware when you're connected through bluetooth so this is what a lot of people are missing because there are updates that are available on these 115 h's now in order to do that you have to go a different route other than just Bluetooth. And I'm going to show you what you have to do. So in order to connect the mower, the 115H, to AutoCheck to be able to gain access to the firmware, you have to flip it over. And on the, on the bottom of the mower here, right up here under this, this shield for the cutting disc, there's two screws here and there's a little door right there. This is where the battery is at on this 115H model automower. So we're gonna take these two screws out, T20 Torx bit, like usual on the automower stuff. Remove those two screws. There's two little tabs there. Just push them out of the way and that will release this, this door to um, get in here to the battery. Nah. A little easier to do with a screwdriver. There we go. Um, so now in here where the battery is at, it's kind of hard to see, but directly here in the front, right there, there is a port right there that you would find on the back end underneath on the majority of the automowers, like the uh, the 300 series and the 400 series, you know, minus the 435X. And that is where you connect via cable, USB cable, to this 115H. Just plug that in there. And now, all of a sudden, it is going to bring up the uh, the 115H in auto check in a completely different way. It actually shows the picture of the mower there. You're connected via USB. And now if you go in here, you still have the option to connect through Bluetooth, um, even though you have the cable, connect, the cable connected to it. But you go in here to your um, USB connection and connect to this 115H now, and it's gonna give you 
the ability to update the firmware and see what um, version of the firmware is in there. You can see right there at the top, there is a newer software available in your PC than in the connected mower. So we'll just go right over here to update firmware. And oh, before I click on that, you see at the top here, that is not blacked out anymore. It's highlighted, meaning you can click on that and you can go in here and you can do a firmware update. We'll let it think for a little bit. Now, you might be saying, why is this important? Well, one of the big reasons why it's important is because if you add a 4G connect card to this 115H, what do you have to do anytime you add a connect card to an auto mower that didn't have one already? Or even if you're updating the connect card, you have to update the firmware. So if you want that connect card to work in the 115H, you have to update the firmware, meaning you have to actually plug into it because connecting through Bluetooth isn't going to get you access to the firmware. And we're seeing here it's going through and it's updating a bunch of stuff. So this mower will probably perform a little bit better now. Um, it'll probably change a few of the, uh, the calibrations and, and tolerances with it and maybe add a new feature or two. I'm not sure. I didn't look into this software um, packet and see what it has because, well, I didn't know what the original software was in this thing because it didn't pop up. But at least now we'll know that this has the latest and greatest of everything in this mower and it's ready to go. And again, this is something that should be done before the mower is delivered to the customer uh, if it's being bought through a dealer. Now, you get the ones that are sold through Lowe's and delivered directly to the customer. Uh, or, you know, Amazon or wherever they're buying them from, the, the Husqvarna website. So those, those are a little bit different because they're delivered right to the customer's door. The dealer never gets a handle on them until they go out to actually install them. And that's when you're going to have to connect to this uh, port here where the battery is at and go in there and update your firmware so that the customer has a mower that's ready to go and going to be as trouble-free as possible. And we've actually ran into some of the uh, the mowers that come out with a uh, connect board already installed in them. And it's a promotion that Lowe's had going on. I'm not sure if that's still going on or not. Uh, I was here during the, the early summer of 2020. They were doing that. If you bought a 115H from Lowe's, it came with a uh, special deal where it came with a 4G connect card. And we ran into some of them where we had to actually install the card and then update the software. Uh, we had some that came through with the card already mounted, but you weren't able to access it because the firmware wasn't updated to make the um, 4G connect card work with the mower and the mower's main board. So again, you'd have to go in there and update the firmware and then the card would be recognized and, and usable. So this is taking a little while here. There was a decent amount of stuff apparently to update on this mower. And again, this is a brand new one. This is this is a brand new mower. It was never sold. Uh, it had never left the dealership. And you can see that it has a 2019 serial number, but still what they would consider brand new. And uh, there's a, a lot of updating to be done. So just because it's in a box and it hasn't been opened yet, don't think you're getting, you know, a mower with completely up-to-date software and ready to go. This is something that should be checked to make sure that is the case and if it's not then you're already connected to it and you can go through and just update everything like we're doing now while we're connected to it
So there we go. Programming is finished. Everything is up to date. And we are good to go. So now we'll go back to the home screen. And there you can see it shows our firmware version on that information box right there. And it tells you when the latest save was. Um, you know, everything is up to date. It's saved on the cloud. So this mower is now officially ready to go. Now, we'll see here what happens when we, we go up here and uh, we'll disconnect this mower. And we'll remove the cable. And now we'll go back in and we will try to connect to it through Bluetooth. All right, here we go. It's collecting all the information. Look at that. We're connected through Bluetooth. It has the firmware version listed there. But again, we're connected through Bluetooth. And up at the top, that arrow to update the firmware is blacked out. We at least do have a picture of the mower there and all that stuff. But we still cannot update the firmware through Bluetooth with this 115H. It has to be plugged in to whatever your device is that you're using for auto check at this point down the road, they might change that and you'd be able to do the firmware updates through Bluetooth like you can with the all wheel drive mowers. Um, but as of right now, this is the way this has to be done. And if it isn't getting done this way, make sure that you mention something to your dealer and have them actually plug into the mower and update the firmware. And now, as everybody knows, this is something that currently can only be done by a dealer. This is not like the all-wheel drives. There is no FOTA firmware over the air um, updates available for anything other than the all-wheel drives currently. So this is something that you need to get your dealer to do. And as new updates become available, you know, as the year progresses or the beginning of the spring rolls around the beginning of the mowing season you want to make sure to have your dealer check out your mower and uh, make sure your firmware is up to date and another little thing there you might have noticed was that um it didn't take very long to update that firmware it seemed like it took forever because uh of the fact that you know it was so quiet while it was doing it but um, it, it was about five minutes to update that firmware. So if you're being told it's going to take an hour, hour and a half to update the firmware, you know that's not true. Um, this one was a 2019 model, had never had anything done to it. And we were starting from scratch with loading that firmware in, you know, five to six minutes there, if that. So keep that in mind. Uh, but there you are. There you go, we're all done with this 115H. We're ready to take it out, set it up, and let it start mowing. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you learned something. And remember, for any of your auto mower questions or queries or um, parts needs, just shoot us an email roboticmowerservices at gmail.com and we'll try to get you taken care of. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of these other videos we put out in the future showing you these little tricks and tips and what you need to look for with your automower.